Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out InstaLooper, which is an effects plugin from Audio Blast. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video down below, subscribe to the channel, and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so InstaLooper is an effects plugin, so it will go in as an insert or a send. It is not an instrument. And what InstaLooper does is it is very useful, especially for live performance. Now you see we have these three or four different loop sizes here. So we I have them set 30 second notes, one bar, eighth. And then so what we do is while we are playing our sample, we can program these to loop on different times like this. I'm going to just load this up and click these in real time to show you how it works. You can program these to a physical controller such as a MIDI keyboard or a drum pad as well. So that is at its most basic. It triggers these different loops and loop points based on when you click it and it will loop that certain segment. Now when it gets really fun is when you can enable different effects here. So you'll notice we have, if you hold that down, it will enable these different effects. So the effect select right here, you can do um, bit reducer, time expand, phaser, high pass filter, auto pan, bit reducer, oh that's what I already said, and then gate. Look here in my automation lanes here. I have these different things set up. So right here is the loop effects. You'll notice when it goes up it enables the effects. I also have down here the loop value that enable that uh, controls the timing of the loop. So open it up. We'll notice when this is up it will hold down that loop button and then when these go down in the little stair steps uh, there, it's going to change the loop size. And I also have the effects and everything programmed in. So it gets a lot of fun here, but a little bit complicated. So I'm programming all these different parameters here, um, just automating it. So I'm controlling right now, I'm just sticking with loop one. And I'm enabling, turning the loop on, turn the effects on and off, triggering over here with the automation, and then the amount of the effect, which is high pass filter here, as well as the reverse. I'm I am uh, triggering the reverse as well, um, all within automation here. This is what we're uh, the loop we're using. So I'm going to play the loop and then play it with the effects. So like I said, this uh, really excels as a live tool because you can do stuff like this with the exact same loop I just played. Then we can continue to kind of edit these on the fly. That is the reverse. Let's go ahead and trigger this loop here at the end. The last bar of this one. And then the second half of this one. We can also adjust the pitch here, which will be a little bit of fun. See, this is just totally random, so it might sound absolutely insane, but that's what's fun about it. 
So I've got the effects. I will enable the effects down here. It'll sound like this. So again, that was totally random, but as you can hear, you can imagine the creativity uh, you can achieve with this single plugin, especially using it for live use. Um, program these into your drum pad and then have those kind of glitches, those buildups and everything just easy to do on the fly along with the effects. Um, or you can program it in and you can get some crazy effects. If you've ever used like Image Line from FL Studio, the standard plugin called Gross Beat. So this is a much more customizable version of that plugin and it's pretty crazy the results you can get. Again, I'm only messing with just one of these loops and I've already gotten some really crazy results. If you take the time to program this in or if you know everything and can kind of play it in on the fly uh, when you're doing live performances, this will be a very useful tool to kind of spice up a very basic beat like this and turn it into something a little bit more uh, special. So thanks for checking this one out with me, guys. I will see you next time.